Let the church say amen. 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 Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. If you're glad to, to be here this morning. Amen. God has allowed us another opportunity to come to the house of praise. Amen. And that's a reason to bless the Lord. Amen. For I will bless the Lord at all time, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Y'all come in and lift him up today. Y'all come in to give him some praise today. Anybody found him to be worthy today? Amen. Amen. Today is our Black History Day. Amen. And we're going to take it back with our opening selection. Y'all going to join in with us? Amen. Amen. The birds have nested in the time. And the farm have hold in. Put your hands together. Y'all know how y'all used to go to church. But the sun, he don't have nowhere to lay his wings. Put your hands together. We're going to have a good time this morning. I missed it in the time and the flock have holes in the ground but the sun he don't have nowhere to This one right here. I said, Meet me, Jesus, meet me. Won't you meet me? And if these old wings shall fail me, won't you meet me with another path? Gonna read my testimony, gonna place it. My head and all I want you is real. How about this one? Go, I'm going down to the river, gonna stick my, gonna shout my, cause I made it. Gonna stick my Gonna write my Cause I made it Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping We're gonna change the song up Come by here, Lord Come by here, Lord. Come on by here, Lord. Sing it, oh. Won't you? have our response to reading by, I mean, our scripture by Minister Beatty and our prayer by Minister Alexandra.
Psalms 1. Psalms. 1. Blessed the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his seasons. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Amen. Amen. The word of God for his people. Amen. That's all right. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come right now in the name of Jesus. We come just to bless your name, Lord God. We come, Lord God, just to magnify your name. We come, Lord, just to lift you up. You said if thou be lifted up, you will draw all men unto thee. So, Father, right now, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, your love and kindness, Lord God. We thank you, God, that this battle is not ours, but it's yours, Lord. Yes. You said, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, neither had it entered into the hearts of man the things that you have in store for us. Yes. So, Father, we ask right now that you create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Yes. We know you to be a faithful God, a just God. Yes. We know, Lord, that you can shut doors that need to be shut and open doors that need to be open. Yes. Lord, we pray right now, Lord, that... You just, Holy Spirit, come into this place and have your way. Uh, Lord, you said the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Yes, Lord. Lord, you came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Uh, Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, God, for food, clothes, shelter in our homes. We thank you, God, for traveling grace, Lord God. Lord, we thank you because it could be us, Lord, with no home, no food, no clothes. And, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Lord, I don't know what your people need today, Lord, but you said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and we shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Lord, we pray that you bless everyone in the sanctuary today, Lord. Lord, we pray that you grant their needs to them, Lord, according to your will, Lord. Lord, we thank you that you've been better to us all than we've been to ourselves. Lord, we know you're able to do all things but fail. Lord, you said in your word that every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. Lord, we confessing right now that we need you, Lord. Some need you for one thing, God, and some need you for another. Lord, because you live, we can face tomorrow. And for that, oh God, we say thank you. Lord, we thank you right now for you being so good to us, Jesus. Lord, we ask right now that the weapon form that it won't prosper, but every tongue that rises up against us will be condemned. Lord, we pray that you counsel every assignment of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we speak healing over your people right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said you was wounded for our transgression and you were bruised for our iniquity. The chastisers of our peace was upon you. And you said, by your stripes we are healed. So Lord, help us to speak healing over our lives and not death. Life and death is in the power of the tongue, O oh God. And help us to watch what we say. Be slow to speak in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for our speaker today that you give him that word, God. Cut sin on the left and sin on the right. Lord, we thank you right now, God, for being God all by yourself. Lord, we know that you are in control of everything. Yes. And help us to wait on you, God. If things don't come in our timing, Lord, but it always be in your timing. Yes. And Lord, we thank you for your purpose and will for our lives. Yes. We just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, help us all in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, we pray for the ones that's 
listening in this morning. Yeah. Lord, we pray that you move bless. And Lord, uh, we pray that you draw us closer to thee in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We ask in the name of Jesus that you heal the sick, the prison bind. Lord, remember the bereaved family right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Remember the ones that's in the hospital and the nursing home, Lord God. Yeah. We know you're able to do all things but fail. Yeah. We know that you can go where we can't go, Lord. Yeah. But we're casting our cares upon you because we know you care for us. Yeah. And Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus yeah. that you just hear our prayer, oh Lord. Yeah. Hear our Prayer, oh Lord, hear our prayer, oh Lord.
addition, the Congress has been building and strengthening our Christian education program. This year, we hope to continue developing and have already begun planning for our annual session. This year, we will register your church for our annual session in March and in November. Your leadership presence and financial support will be much appreciated and will help cover the cost of our Congress expenses for the 2024 budget year. Please make our check payable to Tiger River Congress 2024. Please mail to Sister Denise Norman, Congress Treasurer, 1429 Woodford Street, Woodford, South Carolina, 29388. Thanking you in advance for your consideration and your support. Cheerfully in Christ, Reverend Thomas E. Massey, Jr., President, Sister Deborah Rogers, Dean Kazuki. Amen. Save these days for the winter workshop, which marks 16th. Church Youth Workers and Youth Workshop, April 27th. This is a faculty retreat, July 14th through the 19th. This is the 117th annual session. November 2nd is the one day session. Please let me know if you have any questions concerning your church's registration fee for the workshop. Again, Dr. Massey. Amen. Amen. Um, continue your prayers for all of those that are on our healing list. We'd like to say a happy birthday to our February babies and happy anniversary. We'd like to welcome each and every one of you here today. Um, please keep the Hunter family in your prayer. Brother Larry Hunter, brother of Deacon Mary Hunter, went on to be with the Lord. Amen. 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 Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 If you haven't felt the spirit of the Lord this morning, amen, you may need to go home and check yourself. Amen. Amen. Welcome to each and every one of you. Welcome to all of our uh, visitors uh, this morning. Amen. We have some visitors with us. Uh, amen. Reverend Davis, you're more than welcome to, to join us up here, man. All right. Bless you, man. Uh, Again, welcome to each and every one of you. Happy birthday and anniversary to those that are celebrating. With all of our February babies, please stand. All of our February babies. Amen. Amen. I, I know we got at least one of the twins, Devin and Dietrich. Amen. Miss Bessie. Amen. Happy birthday to all our February babies. Amen. Amen. <laughs> healing list. Please keep all those on our healing list uh, in your prayers. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Continue praying for Brother Jesse Rice, Miss Ruth Dogan, Miss Nellie Elmo, Miss Sherry Robinson, Miss Ethel Browning. Amen. Miss Spurgeon, uh, Miss Jennifer Brown, Cassandra Brown, Erin Brown, Sister Barnett, and Sister Gray, uh, Brother Samuel Gray, Miss Gwendolyn Gray, uh, Reverend May Francis Golden. Amen. And also uh, those two young men I've been asking y'all to pray for. The one, he's still in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Been in there now about a month. Amen. 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 So y'all continue uh, praying for him. Uh, and pray for all those names who were called uh, that God heals them as only God can. Mm -hmm. Now please keep all bereaved families in your prayers. Amen. Again, uh, we've heard uh, continue praying for the Hunter family, uh, for Deacon Hunter and his family. Also continue praying for the Herbert family, the Manning family, and the Thomas family. Amen. Continue lifting them up in your prayer. Amen. 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 Again, uh, all presidents, all auxiliary reforms are due back today. All auxiliary reforms are due back today. Uh, we will have our full Sunday fellowship today at the Swiss of Mount Zion Baptist Church. We ask you please, sirs and ma'ams, to join us at 2 o'clock. Uh, again, the Tumbling, uh, sorry, the Tiger River Association Congress Week will be on next week. We ask you please, sirs and ma'am, to govern yourself accordingly to attend. Amen. Today is our big black history uh, celebration, and we will do that after our altar call. <clears throat> Today we have a, a guest with us who I've known uh, since I was a, a, a child. I would see him and his uh, wife, Miss Lorraine, uh, all the, together all the time. And I'm going to pause right there. I don't know how long they've been married. Uh, but, uh, you know, some people be married and you never see them together. Uh, Y'all might like that don't happen now. They drive separate cars here. They drive separate cars. And I ain't talking about because they're leaving at, at different times. They're leaving at the same time. But some couples, you never see them together. They don't go nowhere together. They don't do nothing together. 
I wanted to keep that they even talked to each other in the house together. All right. But but you always see them together. I remember when I was a young man, I would always see them together at, at different events. And uh, they are my neighbors. We live in the same community. Uh, been knowing him a long time. He's an outstanding guy. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that for nothing. He's an outstanding guy. He's respected in the community. Uh, you see him. He, he, you know, some people talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. Amen. But Reverend Curran Ray, he talks it, but he walks it. Mm -hmm. uh, he tells people that we need to invest in our children and spend time with our children. Mm -hmm. And on any day, you may see him at one of our schools mm. putting into the children, <laughs> especially at the middle schools and high schools, because I tell you all all the time, the middle schools are where we are losing our children. 11 to 14 is where we are losing our kids. Uh, elementary, we kind of got a grip on them. High school, y'all know like I know, sadly, the ones that get in trouble in high school, they usually get in trouble in life. But in middle school is where we are losing our, our young people. And Reverend Ray and, and Reverend Davis and it's a group of them, they, they are in and out of those schools checking on those kids. They know who Reverend Ray is. Uh, he's a good man. Reverend Ray's retired uh, from Timken, and he recently retired uh, for almost 25 years from the Knuckles Chapel, Knuckles Chapel Baptist Church, where he was the pastor. Amen. For almost 25 years. Amen. 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 Right. We are blessed to have him today. Amen. He was the first vice moderator of the, top, uh, the top, Lord have mercy. I'm calling every association of uh, the Thickety Mountain. All of them start with T's. That's the problem. All right. He was the first vice moderator of the Thickety Mountain Association. Amen until his recent uh, retirement. Uh, but we, we have a gym with us today. Uh, as y'all can see, he, he don't mind serving the Lord. Uh, the Holy Ghost uh, fell upon him just now and he had to tell somebody. Yes, had to remind somebody yes, how good God has been to him and to all of us. And uh, we are blessed to have him with us today. When I asked him months ago, months ago uh, to join us, uh, on this special day. Y'all know I always try to get a retired pastor Amen. to join us on the fourth Sunday uh, in, in February. And I asked him and his wife was sitting there and he looked at Miss Lorraine and said, now make sure you write that down. <laughs> I guess he done got retired. He done got relaxed. But uh, he's still preaching. He's still going out and preaching. Uh, he's just not pastoring anymore. So after the choir blesses us with a selection, the next voice you will hear will be none other than, than my friend, Somebody who's, who's like an uncle to me. Somebody who I respect very, very much. None other than Reverend Dr. Curran Ray. Amen? Amen. Cool. 
to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you, I lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Jesus, I see you. And 
the world that Jesus lived. And he lived down in my soul. Amen. Amen. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, who is the head of my life. We come today to say thank you, amen, to your very fine pastor for inviting us to come down today, and amen, and take a part of such a wonderful occasion amen. to the deacons and to the members, to the musicians, to the choir, we surely say thank you. Today... Amen. We're going to be talking about some things today concerning black history. Since this is Black History Month. Amen. 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 But before I do that, I want to, I want to, once again, thank you, Pastor. Once again, thank you to the ministers that are here with us. And I want you to know that, uh, I have a young man with me, with, with me today, Ricky and his wife, Ricky Davis and his wife, Minister Ricky Davis and his wife, they're all with us uh, today. So Rick, raise your hand, you and your wife. Amen. They be with us a lot. We go to a different school that we said earlier, and we try to uh, help our children the best and that we know how to keep them on the right track. Amen. 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 But we need the parents' help as well. Amen. 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 Need parents' help as well. Also with me today, I have a man, my great-grandson. Stand up, great-grandson. <laughs> That's him right there. <laughs> Amen. I have my granddaughter. Amen. My granddaughter. Also, my daughter. Stand up, daughter. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They came with us today, and I want you to know that also with, with, uh, with us today, as Pastor was stating early, earlier about this young lady, we, we have been married for 46 years. Amen. 46 years. Amen. And I want you to know Amen. That she is. She's my wife. Amen. She's my wife. But a young man asked me the other day, he said, why you don't why you why you don't call your wife your your best friend? And why you don't call your wife your your apple of the eye and all that kind of mess? Why you don't call her the cream in your coffin? I told him when you put cream in coffee, you change the taste of your coffee. Amen. 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 Change the taste of the cream of your coffee. And I told him, I said, listen, she's my wife. That's what she is. Amen. And I had explained to him that when Adam, when God brought Eve to uh -huh. Adam, mm -hmm. Adam called her wife and Adam called her woman. Adam didn't name Eve until after they done seen it. Adam said, you bone of my bone, and you flesh of my flesh, you shall be called woman. Amen. And she is my wife. Amen. Amen. That's what she is. She's my wife. I didn't change my last name. She changed her last name. Amen. Somebody gonna get it after a while. Amen. And one man said, well, every time I see y'all, y'all together, I said, who I supposed to be with then? <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. I said, the show ain't going to be you. <laughs> amen. God is good, amen. 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 We want to come today, if you, if you don't mind, we're going to use two scriptures. In the book of Genesis, in the book of Exodus, excuse me, in the book of Exodus, in the book of Exodus, chapter number seven, All right. 
chapter number 7. In the book of Exodus, chapter number 7. You will find these words. Reading from a King James translation. Amen. Exodus chapter number 7, look at verse number 2. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh, that he send the children of Israel out of his land. Amen? Yes. Also, I need you to turn over to Galatians. Galatians is in the New Testament. Galatians is in the New Testament. Galatians chapter number 5. Galatians chapter number 5. Look at verse number 13. For brothering ye have been called unto liberty. Only you not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. But by love serve one another. Amen. 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 Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. The subject is freedom and responsibility. Amen. Of America. Uh -huh. 
Y'all gonna pray with me. The 15th Amendment, amen, give black Americans the right to vote. Amen. 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 You got a right to vote. Amen. 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 Well, I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters, it took some time to pass for, for desegregation to come in South Carolina. Uh -huh. So I wondered and I looked it up and I said, when was South Carolina University? Amen. Segregated system. When, when was the first black allowed to go into South Carolina University? Amen, somebody. And I want you to know that happened in 1873. Amen. A young man by the name of Henry E. Hay was the first one to go. Well, I want you to know there was a young girl, amen, a six-year-old by the name of Ruby Bridges. Amen. She is the first, amen, African-American, amen, to enter into the public school. Somebody going to pray with me. Not only that, she spent all day long in the principal's office. It disturbed me now when I go to school and see a child in the principal's office. Amen. And the child ain't got no business being in the principal's office. Amen. When we go to school now, guess what I tell them? Ain't nobody going to be in the hall but me. Amen. Everybody else going to be in the classroom. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Now, I know you've been having made all your life, but see, we ain't always had school. To be able to go to the public library, to be able to go, go into school and what's that again? We ain't always been like that. Amen, somebody. Thank God for that young girl by the name of Ruby Bridges. Amen. And then, you know what we have, what we call the Jim Crow law. Amen. Jim Crow law. Now we can go to the restaurants. We can sit down, order our food. Amen. There was a time when you couldn't do that. Amen, somebody. You weren't allowed to go into the restaurants and sit down and eat with everybody else. Amen. Amen. I thank God for my daddy because, see, we were raised up on the farm. Amen. And look at what my mama would leave home and go down and and take care, amen, of the man who owned the farm. Uh -huh. Take care of his children and cook his food. Amen, amen somebody. I know y'all don't know nothing about that. I'm just, I'm just trying to give somebody a little look little, little, little where we come from. Amen. amen. They used to go down there and fix their food while we stay at home. Amen. amen. My daddy would plow the cotton. See, I'm ready on the cotton field, too. Y'all done picked any cotton? Yes, sir. Oh, I might be going back too far for some of y'all. Listen. Hey, let me tell you now, you even got cotton, you wearing cotton clothes. Everything you got on now ain't wool. And silk, somebody ought to pray with me. We used to pick cotton. Amen. I remember my daddy, my daddy got off the track and went down to, to the man's house and my mama had to fix dinner. Amen. And he came to the door and he knocked. Amen. The man. The man on the farm came to the door and he said, you got to go around the back because he had some more people at the house, you know. Uh -huh. There's some company. He told, he told my daddy, you got to go around to the back and get your food. <laughs> and, he, and, 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 and guess what? The, the, the owner had a dog. Yeah. My daddy looked at that dog. Mm. He looked at that man. You know, he wasn't, he wasn't always good with words. <laughs> He said a few words. Yeah. And he told that man, I ain't no. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 He, 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 he told what he told my mama. He said, come on here. That's right. We, we leave it. That's right. I, I ain't no. Just because he got somebody at home, uh -huh. he going to treat me like this. That's right. And no, no. He left. Amen. We left. Amen. We left that. Went home packed clothes and all. Didn't have many. And we left. <laughs> Amen. We left. Listen. America, Afro-American couldn't go to school. Sat on the same train. Amen. Sat in the same restaurant. Drank from the same water fountain. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Had a water fountain 
Amen. If I may, for the white man had a water fountain for the colored man. Had a water fountain for him. We couldn't drink out the same water fountain. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, there was a young lady by the name of Mary McLeod Methuselah. Uh -huh. She said the true rough, the true worth of a race must be measured by the character of the womanhood. Amen. See, the women have brought us, brought, have brought us from a mighty long way. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Don't you know in 1955, that's when Rosa Park, Rosa Park sat on that bus. She said, I ain't getting up. Y'all right. don't hear what I'm saying. She said, I ain't getting up out of that, out of my seat. Right. Well, I want you to know that stirred up some stuff. Right. Amen, somebody. I know you know about that young man by the name of Martin Luther King, Jr. Well, I know you know about the speech that he made, I have a dream. Amen. On August the 28th, 1963, King's most famous speech says, Amen, let us not, he said in his speech, that let us not seek, Amen, to be satisfied, Amen, with the thirst of freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness yeah. and hatred. Mm -hmm. You see, King wasn't about violence. Uh -uh. King wasn't about justice. Yeah. He wasn't about right. He was about doing what thus says Almighty God. We must never, we must, for, must forever conduct our struggles on the higher plane of dignity and discipline. Yeah. Well, out of all the all of every time I watched about King and how the struggle was, I never seen him draw his hand back to hit anybody. Amen. He always talked with love, always talked with firmness. And he always talked about what thus says Almighty God. Yeah. He always talked about justice. Amen, Amen somebody. Yeah. Let me let you, let you know now. He said, I, I have a dream today and, 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 and a dream that one day, one day the valleys, amen, will be exalted. And every hill and mountain must be made low. Yeah. The rough places will be made plain. The crooked places will be made straight. Yeah. Amen. And the glory of the Lord shall reveal. Amen. And all flesh shall see it together. Y'all yeah. don't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. King said. King said. Injustice anywhere. Amen. Is a threat to justice everywhere. Yeah. Amen. When, when, when injustice is not. Amen. Is in, is in close anchor. Amen. It's a threat to justice up in Gadney. Yeah. Amen. When injustice is in Gadney, it's a threat to justice down here at Cross Anchor. Y'all yeah. don't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters, on that day, on that day the king, the day before king was assassinated, mm -hmm. amen, it was he, he gave a speech. Yeah. He gave a speech. Uh -huh. And in this speech, King says, amen. He says to us, I may not hey, be with you there. Uh -huh. He said, but I want you to know tonight, is what King said, uh -huh. that we as people will get to the promised land. Yeah. Amen. amen. King says, amen, he said, listen, one of these days, my little, amen, my four little black children will be able, amen, to sit down and talk with other children. King says to us, he said, I ain't worried about it, amen, leaving this walk of life. But he said, because I've seen the lightning flash. King said, I even been to the promised land. I seen the promised land. Amen, somebody. On April the 4th, amen, King was assassinated. But before he was assassinated, he let us know something. And I say, amen, he let us know something. He said, we all are somebody in the eyes of Almighty God. Yes, Amen, somebody. Yes, and I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters, we are somebody. Yes, 
Amen. 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 We are somebody because God didn't make no mess. Amen, Amen somebody. God didn't make no mess. Look at him. Listen to me, if you will. Amen. I saw a young lady do this. Amen. Just the other day. Amen. Just bridges. Amen. She gave this illustration. She said, I have two eggs here. Uh -huh. Amen. One white and one brown. Amen. Well, somebody tell me why, why is it if God made all of us equal, yeah. why ain't we treated equally? Amen. Amen. Why don't we have to have some struggle and, 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 and not treat it as, as everybody else in this world? Somebody going to pray with me. All I want to know is, brother, will you help me just for a minute? All I want to know is this. I need you to pray, Daddy Pilly. Amen. <laughs> Here we are as sisters and brothers in life. We just can't get along. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You can put your, put, your, put your holes in here if you don't mind. I don't want you to get it all thrown all over. But amen. I want you to get it thrown everywhere. Amen. Amen. I want you to know something. Since we, got, since we got so many different people of color in the world, but yet and still, my brothers and my sisters, there comes a time we ought to know something that God made us. We didn't make ourselves. Amen. God made us for a purpose. Amen. And God made us to, 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 really to, to serve one another. And God made us to worship him. But we're struggling to worship Almighty God. Amen, somebody. Now I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters, when you look at what God did, God did it for a purpose, and God did it for let us know that He's God, He's God all by Himself. Sometimes we forget who God is. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Well, well, I want you to know something. We all sometimes look at the look at the outside. Of a person without looking and knowing what's on the inside. Y'all gonna pray with me. Y'all gonna pray with me. Look now, if the, the, the eggs on the inside, they the same color. They the same color. They the same color. The same color. We the peel through eggs and Shell them and put them back in the in the in the bags. You could have never known which one was white and which one was brown. Right. You'd have never known that. And I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters, God did it for a purpose, yes. and God did it for us to, Amen, to give Him all of the praise and all of the glory. Right. See, man got a problem for looking on the outside. Right. God looks at the heart. Y'all yeah. gonna pray with me? Yeah. Well, I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters. Yeah. God told Moses that Moses, I need you to go down there and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when Pharaoh, amen, heard from Moses what God says, the Bible said his heart got hard. Yeah. Yeah. But God also told Moses that, listen, I'm gonna be with you wherever you may go. I'm going to be right by your side. Well, I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters, the God told Moses, said, now, I'm going to give you a, a commandment to go by. See, the Ten Commandments were for the children of Israel to let them know that God is always right by their side. The Bible says that every time Moses went before Pharaoh, Pharaoh would not let him go. But God told Moses, and go to him one more time, and you tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Well, the Bible said that when Pharaoh let him go, that Moses told him, we got to stay with God's holy word. And we got to stay with the statue and the, and, the, and the teaching of all mighty God. The Bible said that more than one day the children of Israel ran out of water. And God told Moses, I need you to speak to the rock and water will come out. But the Bible said that Moses struck the 
rock. And God got anger with Moses. And the Bible said that when that happened, look what it did. The Bible said that it told Moses, he told him to now, I'm going to take you up there and let you see the promised land. But you can't go in inside of the promised land. And look what happened, y'all. Moses got to see it, but it didn't go in. The Bible said, the Bible said that Moses died and Joshua became the leader. But look what Joshua did. The Bible said that Joshua took them all the way to the promised land. And when Joshua got there, he told the people, he said, now you choose this day of who you're going to serve. If it be evil, I'll tell you. But man, for me and my house, we going to serve. We going to serve the Lord. Come out, Paul. What you got to say. The Bible said in Galatians 5 and 13. But my brethren, he all have been called to liberty. And I'm not the liberty to do. But I can't get all the flesh. For love for one another. I want you to know. Just because we're free, don't go out here and do things because you're afraid. I want you to know the wrong use of freedom can't start wars. The wrong use of freedom will break up a nation. The wrong use of freedom will ruin a church. The wrong use of freedom, amen, will break up a home. It will tear down an individual life. All I want you to know, we got to use our freedom in the right perspective and in the right way. The Bible said we need to let the Lord lead us in the way that we should go. Well, if I use my freedom in the wrong way, no one, a man is free to do what they want to do. If you can do what you want to do, then you need to check on your freedom because I am free. Don't mean that I can go out and just disturb and do something harm to somebody else. We are free from sin to live a holy life. When we accept Jesus as our Savior, don't from all our sin, we must, we must, we must be about our father business. We must never miss but take our freedom. We must always be responsible for our actions. That's why King said, I, I don't want to do no violence. We're going to protest. We're going to march. A decent and in order. Well, the right use of freedom, the right use of freedom, as a child of God, we can enjoy the freedom to know that God is on our side. American Christians are the greatest freedom on this earth. We are free from sin by the blood of Jesus. We are free to worship in the spirit of God in public and in private. We enjoy liberty. Yes, we do in America. But I want you to know we got to do it right in the eyes of the Lord. When was it that you were set free? Well, I want you to know that slavery stopped a long time ago. Well, I'm glad to announce that I am a slave for Jesus Christ. Whatever the Lord will have me to do, that's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to do it all in the will of the Lord. Why are you going to do that? Because I know in order to be free, in order for us to have freedom, the blood got to be shed. The silver war ended. And when the silver war ended, that's when slavery stopped. Well, I want you to know, I want you to know that blood had to shed in order to have freedom. Well, look what Jesus did. God's only begotten son. Because we were slaves, a slave to sin. Jesus came down to 42 generations. And the Bible said that Jesus, Jesus was born to a virgin named Mary. But look what he did. He gave water in the wine and gave sight to the blind. The Bible said said they took the Lord and they nailed him to the cross. They took the Lord and raised him up on the cross. Jesus told them, if I be lifted up, I draw her men under me. I want you to know they raised him up on that cross. They carried him in his side and blood and water came down. I was set free. You were set free when the blood came down. The Bible said they put him in a bottle of tomb. But L.A. 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 That Sunday morning God raised him up with all power in his hand. Raised him up with all power in his hand. Set free. Set free. Freedom and responsibility. Just because we are free, we think we, we can go out and do what we want to do anytime we want to do. It ain't that so. Amen. Don't abuse your freedom. Don't abuse it. Use it for the glory of God. Helping somebody else. Amen. All that King did. All that he did was to help you and I. Amen. 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 Now the question is, what are we doing for the next generation? What are we doing for the next generation? Amen. What are we doing for the next generation? King said, I had a dream. Amen. Amen. Are we still dreaming or are we, we going to do something? Are we, it's time to come out of that dream, y'all. It's time to be about our father's business. Yes, Amen. Amen. Time to be about our father's business. What are we doing for the next generation? Mm, what are we doing? What are we doing? Think about it. What are we doing? We say that they won't listen to nobody. Well, just, just let your mind flake back just a little bit. Will you listen to anybody? Think about it. Were you listening? You were a teenager at one time. Were you listening? Were you listening? Amen. Amen. Were you listening? What are we still doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we telling them about our forefathers? Yes, sir. When you read in the Bible, mm -hmm. when you read in the Bible, when God spoke to Moses and Aaron and he always said, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Always said that. What are we doing with our children today? Are we telling them about our God? Are we telling them about our God? Are we telling them about the one that, that, that made heaven and earth? Are we telling them about the creator? Amen. Amen. The one that set us free. He set us free. Amen. Amen. Freedom and responsibility. Amen. Now that we are free, we got a responsibility. Yes, God. We got a responsibility. Amen. Thank you, God. Are we going to do our responsibility? Amen. 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 A men's going to have a program. Men's Day, you know, Father's Day and all of that. Kind of. How do you, how, 
How do you measure a man? How do you measure? Think about it. How do you measure a man? Because he got a bunch of children, that make him a man? Because he got a lot of wild oaks sold out young somewhere, that's what that make him a man? A man handles his responsibility. He handles his responsibility. Amen. He handled his responsibility. That makes a man. And listen, ladies, we read that sometime in Proverbs 31, I think it is. Who can find a virtuous lady? Me yell, me yell them, tell them about all what a virtuous lady does. When you go in the book of Ruth, Boaz found Amen. a virtuous lady. Because Boaz says, you're more virtuous than I am. Amen. Amen. Boaz said that. Yes, Amen. See, if you're looking for someone to help, then you must let them know you must carry yourself as a woman. Amen. Y'all don't help. It'll be all right. Amen. Amen. Young ladies, you ain't gotta, you don't have to go out and, and, and parade yourself and strut yourself. You don't, you ain't gotta do that. You gotta do that. Listen, I, I, brother pastor, you don't mind. See, Vesta, when you, book of Esther, Vesta said, I ain't strut, I ain't, I ain't going out there, and, you know, parade myself in front of those men anymore. I ain't doing that. And you know what the men said? We got to get her out of there. That's how Esther got in. Amen. How Esther got in. Because Esther carried herself like a lady. Amen. Carry yourself like a lady. Amen. 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 Carry yourself like a lady. Amen. Amen. Conduct yourself as a man. I told the boys, I told the young guys this, I said, if you treat her like a lady, she'll treat you like a man. That's all that matters. Amen. 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 But at the same time, guess what? Amen. If you conduct yourself like a lady, I promise you, he'll conduct himself like a man. Amen. But the man got to conduct himself first like a man. Amen. 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 Martin Luther King gave us a good example of what what we should be about. Helping one another. Helping one another. We got, we've been set free. We got freedom. We also got a responsibility. We got one. We first got one to God. We got one to our families. And we got one to ourselves. We got a responsibility. So let's uphold our responsibilities. We've been set free. You're free to vote. You're free to do a lot of things. Let's not abuse it for the flesh. Amen. Let's give God the honor and God the praise. Amen. Give him a round of applause. Amen. For God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Past. Me not, O oh, gentle Savior, oh, yeah, my heart Anybody for prayer? I'm dying. Anyone for prayer? Well, oh, yeah. Listen, y'all. 
led me, yeah. It was a prayer. It was a prayer. Oh, by. It was a prayer. Oh, yeah. It was just a prayer. Rachel. Oh, yeah. My own. Mm -hmm. I'm crying. want to join in in prayer? Anyone else? Freedom and responsibility. Amen. You may not be done. We got free from your sins. The Bible said if we ask and confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You ask God to forgive us for all our sins. Now, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Anybody else? Let us pray. Our Father, yes. who art in heaven. Uh -huh. Father God, once again, we come calling upon your holy and divine name. Yes. We come today, God, to say thank you. Amen. Thank you for light, help, and strength. Yes. Thank you, God, that you allowed us to come together one more time. We feel your presence in this place, God. We feel the presence of your Holy Spirit in this place, God. We ask you now, God, look down upon each and every one that are here, God. And Lord, whatever, whatever it is around us, to let them know everything is going to be all right. Somebody may be standing in the in a, in a line of sickness, God. Let them know you're the doctor that never lost a patient. Somebody may need a lawyer right now, God. Let them know you'll be a lawyer in the courtroom. Somebody may need a healing right now. Let them know you'll heal and deliver all at the same time. God, we ask you right now to look down upon us right here, God, and let everyone know under the sound of my weak voice that you have all power in your hand. We thank you, Lord. We give you the praise, honor, and the glory. God, we're not asking you to do this for us. We're asking you to do it for your name's sake. Yes, yes. For your name, we're healing. But your name, we're delivered. In your name, that soul being saved. In your name, Lord. In your name. Not because of, your, of not only your name, God, but also you got a reputation. You got a reputation to uphold. Yo, your reputation let us know that you answered this morning. You, you, you answered last night and God you're going to answer after a while because you have a reputation we know you will answer our prayer God we thank you today we ask you God to please forgive us for all our shortcomings for we all have sinned and come short of your glory Lord look at the altar with a head locked between our shoulders God humbly be before you Calling upon your holy and divine name. For you are the one that sit high and you look low. We thank you. And we give you all of the praise and all of the glory. God, we ask you now, step it up that we may be a light for the dark world that's there, God. Light shining in darkness. When the light comes on, the dark disappears. Let us be that light for the Lord. 
We thank you today, Lord. Help us that we may shine bright in you. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. And we give you the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray. Let everybody say amen. 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 Yes, God is real. Yes, God is real. He lives in my soul. Yes, God is real. For he has watched and made me whole. Responsibilities. Amen. Amen. This time, amen. Uh, Miss Janice and all our participants will come uh, with our black history uh, icons. Amen.